It is the bass player, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Maybe you can tell from my voice that I am still sick. And let's hear, hear on out with our wife, we don't have anything else. So this episode will be a shorter one, around 25 to 30 minutes. And in this episode I hope to get our dynasty a bit more wealthy. As you can see, these are salt fields and we require some fertilizers here. Uh, to be more precise, I need 2, 3, uh, 2 times 7, 14, 15 fertilizers in total. And I think we have 0 fertilizers for now, but let me check if we have any rods. No, we cannot craft any fertilizers, so let's go check if we have any manure or rod in the storage. Rod, 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 no rods. We have some linen threads though. And let's check the food storage. The berries, these will turn into rot. Ah, oh, we have two rods, but yeah, this is not enough. Alright, so the first thing first, I would like to go to Gostovia. And if you have seen the last episode, you saw that we got our first... Oh! Ah, oh, I hit the crow for the first time. Did he die? Or did he fly away? Wow, I think he flew away. With the cudgel, this is the first time that I hit a bird. I don't think it was, I didn't think it was possible, but here we see. Yeah, in the last episode, we got our first master hired as a citizen. How can I help you? Whatever you need, I've got it. Let's see what... Uh, he has manure, so let's get all the manure. Let's sell the cabbages. As you can remember, they will go rotten. And let's sell all the carrots. They are 50% condition. And let me check if we have any other stuff that will go. Yeah, these mushrooms are all 50%. Roasted meat I can eat. And let's check the prices. Oh, we have potages to sell. I forgot to sell them in the last one. Let's sell the apple juice. Not enough coins. See you soon. Yeah, everyone becomes really poor in Gostovia. Because we are selling all of our potage and all of our extra oh, stuff yeah, here. Let me see how much coins do I have. Yeah, she has enough. Let's sell the apple juice. And all the remaining potage. And that should be enough. See. Yes, so we have 12,000 coins now. Perfect. And let's check the roasted meat. Let's eat it out. Oh, we don't have any other meals next to us. So let's go back. Let's craft our fertilizers at the same time. Let's get something to eat. And as you can see Alvin's story, it requires us to wait for the next season. And let me know in the comments what you think about my voice currently, if it's bothering you or should I record whether or not I have sickness like this. So if it bothers you or not, let me know in the comments. And here we go, 38 fertilizers should be more than enough. Just in case for the future, for the next season, we will require more fertilizers. So it's always nice to have an extra 10 or 20. And for our farm, actually, much more than that. All right, let's go. Simple bag, we have the fertilizer. Yeah, all right. And the fertilizer looks a bit strange in winter. I think since it's like grayish color on white background. So maybe I'm used to seeing the dirt as the dirt color as this. So if we, uh, with the wooden hoe, if we plow the field, yeah, it will turn into that color. So.
yes perfect and do we have any other seeds we can get some carrot seeds okay so yeah let's count one two actually we can do this from the management tab we can go to field and in the field oh there is a field that is unsown okay two four six eight yeah let's count like this six times three eighteen twenty one twenty one seats we can get and as you can see we can only get some carrot seeds so let's first not forget about getting some something to eat and let me check the lowest condition once yeah let's eat some berries i think we might get poison yeah we are getting poisoned from them are we dying yeah <laughs> okay let's <laughs> let's eat saint john's word to get down the poisoning <laughs> Yeah, I think this wasn't a good idea to eat the berries, but let's do this. We have St. John's Word, yeah. yeah. I will eat the berries. Oh, they are not providing us food almost, right? Oh, they are, but 0 0.5. So I'm just wasting a lot of St. John's Word. <laughs> yeah, I think I will not do it again, but sell the berries maybe in the future. But since we started, let's do this until uh, until we run out of San John's Word, which is right now. Okay, let's uh, not eat them anymore. No berries for us. And let's actually roast some meats. We have 11 meats, so... That should be enough. And let me double check if we have any other quests which we do not have. And let me see if any nearby. In Denika and Hornika I see some. But I don't want to spend our time on going there and coming back. Because as you can see it's already afternoon. And let's check the plum tree. We don't have plums yet. And this is the small one. We have some hop plants here. Which we have collected once. The hops. And we haven't sell them actually. So let me check what is going on with the hops. Palm tree seedling we have. Yeah. We have 26 hops. Brewing station. Ah, this can be turned into alcohol. In the tavern. Can we build tavern? Is it services? Market stall, builder's hut? No. These are resource storage, production, tavern. Yeah, we need 10,000 technology for that. Ah, oh, we can build kitchen too, actually. Uh, with the same stuff, but more capacious and more sturdy. And two people can work there. We can get sewing hut too, smithy too. Workshop too. And let's see. Decorations. Oh, workshop has the pottery wheel. Workshop number two. Hmm. We haven't seen the pottery wheel, so... Maybe it's smart to... First build workshop number two. Production workshop... Number two, let's get it here actually. Oh, I don't have any stones. We have, we have many stones nearby, so that shouldn't be a problem. I'm collecting some sticks as well in the meantime. Yeah, that should be enough. We might not have the logs oh we have 88 okay because i crafted i think 57 or something like this 
um, stone axes in the last episode. So that was a small mistake from my side, but <laughs> I'm glad that we did because in the future we won't need to craft it over and over again. And you see our building is quite fast now. We have even enough logs, enough planks. Uh, and it's like loading bar now, okay? It wasn't used to be like this. It was turning green at some point. But since the last episode, Oh, we can make clay bowl, clay cup, clay jug, mug, bottle vial, wine bottle. Yeah, these require some additional technology and clay ways we can make. But everything requires some clay. And from the workbench, it's the same stuff, I think, yeah. But now two people can work here, so... Okay, we can optimize it later on. And what else we can make? Sewing hut number two is the same, I think. Spinning wheel, loom, and the tailoring table. So it's not required. Smithy number two. Workbench, forge, anvil. Yeah, it is the same. And kitchen number two is the same. So it only adds up one more person to stay inside. So they, we had a patch. After the previous episode, as you can see, they included, also when we are talking to the, uh, what they are called, merchants, yeah, so something to buy, as you can see on the top right corner, it shows our coins, in the past it wasn't like that, it wasn't showing it anywhere, so you needed to check your inventory for that before talking to some people. So I think we can find carrot seeds from Edwin. Hello there. Whatever you need. I've got yeah, he is now really poor. So let's get carrot seeds. Yeah, let's get all of them. I think in the far future, we will be able to utilize them all. In the next winter, for example, we will need some more carrot seeds. So there is no harm in getting some extra since we have the money and we don't have anywhere to spend right now. Alright, and let's get the simple bag and carrot seeds. And I think, yeah, here we can sow these fields. It's just one row here, so I think, yeah, these are all sown. There is, yeah, two more missing here. Yeah, all this part is patched. I will check it from the farming tab after I saw these parts as well. <clears throat> and you see with this huge farm, we can get the farming skills and technology go up much more quickly compared to our previous little farm. And I still didn't automize this since we required to go up in farming technology in order to get a stable and a mount, a horse. So let's check the farming tab. As you can see, half, almost half is covered with wheat, sold with wheat, or the other half is with carrots. Perfect. And now, we are free to build another thing so we have the hunting lodge number two uh woodshed number two is not yet open but it's very close so i would like to get woodshed number two if we can for farming we have the farm shed workers employ here will work in the fields and orchards okay let's actually get this one farm shed and we can put it next to the farm actually, which makes more sense. And we require five more stones. Let me double... Oh, what the hell was that? The game is lagging so much. 
So at some point, I think when we go to inspection mode, it is the case. Because there shouldn't be any background process currently running. Since I'm recording, I tend to close everything in the background. So I think it's about the uh, inspection mode and maybe about the winter. I also like this progress bar green. While you are building, you can see how much is left. <clears throat> yeah, I'm spinning through my warm water, by the way. I'm sick of drinking teas now. <laughs> Also, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like. I greatly appreciate it. And it's the most easy way that I can tell that you enjoy the content. Alright, so you see the farm shed is built. And if you want, we can optimize farming as well with this. So, from the management tab. We have two babies, by the way, one Godzimira, zero years old, one Gondolf, one years old. And I think from, not production, farming, farm shed. It requires sickle, bag and a hoe. And we can assign up the four workers and one apprentice. Great. By the way, what time is it currently? So, yeah, 5.30. We still have some more time. And let's build something else. So that we will get to... Where was it? Extraction woodshed. Yeah, we still require 93 technology levels. So I would like to build something that we don't have currently. Oh yeah, so... We have the hen house here. Let's build a pig's tea. Okay, I will put them next to each other. Oh, stones. Always stones are the problem. So let's go to the resource storage that I haven't checked for a while. Maybe they have enough stones. 21. Yeah, that should be enough for now. Let's get the straws as well. And do we have sticks? I don't see. <clears throat> and before I forget, let's eat something, not the berries. Okay, I will drop them. Uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, because they will go rot and we can turn them into fertilizers later on. So let's remind ourselves not to eat them, but keep them. And let's not eat rot, <laughs> because I was almost going to hit F. That's the tricky part. Oh. Wooden hammer. We need sticks. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, we need sticks to build these. Oh my god. Why don't we have sticks? Yeah, I think I ordered them to collect logs more. More than the sticks. And yeah, there are sticks on the floor. It requires to pick them one by one. So it will take some time for us to collect them all. But I think we can manage. Also, we are not in a hurry, so that's something I really enjoy about this game. With some games, games, you feel like you are missing out or you are running out of time. But with this game, you can take it super easy and you just chill, enjoy and build or explore with your own pace, however you like. So that's something that I really enjoy in this game. So, for example, when we play Spider-Man, and I'm going to create a new series, 
of Spider-Man soon. Miles Morales to be more precise. Because we already have Spider-Man Remastered on this channel. So if you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend it. It was super fun. Very, very good combat. But at the same time, it requires us to be on our toes because I always play it at the hardest difficulty. And even if this game is in the hardest difficulty setting, I do not feel the pressure because if you don't like to get in danger, you just stay in your own village and nothing can hurt you here. You can safely build and no attacks come. So in some games, for example in Valheim, you have your buildings but then you, from time to time you get attacked and then the attacks get more and more and more intense and in time you feel the pressure of you need to build more defenses, you need to build a better armor, a better something better of everything. So in this game you are not in a rush so you can take it easy. We can have the donkey shelter here. The terrain is uneven it says. Okay. Maybe I can get it on this side then. Still too uneven. Okay, let's let's get it here. I think we have some some place here. And also Animal Husbandry Goose House. If we can put them side by side, which will be perfect. Let's put down the foundation since we have the required stones. And also we can put the frames. We have, I think, still enough logs, yeah. Oh, with planks we built the sides, okay. And let's see what Goose House wants. Yeah, they want sticks, so we don't have that much stick. I will just put whatever we have and logs and also the planks here. Yeah, and we can build the roof, so that's good. Oh, I cannot go on the other side. Alright, by the way, it's at night, so let's continue this in the morning. And yeah, we require four more planks, so let's get them. And while I'm going, I, I will collect some sticks on the ground. Okay, let's get... Ah, uh, not one. Okay, can I... Uh, yeah, I can do this. Let's get maybe ten. I think 10 times 2 we will have 20 planks. Perfect, perfect. Let's get the torch out so that we can see what we are where we are going and what we are doing. All right, the donkey shelter is com ah, not completed, but now it's completed. Perfect. And oh, I cannot go in between now. And with the sticks we can get this, with the straws we can get the roof of the goose house. So the next thing, I will start buying some animals. And then we need to feed them, so we need to optimize making some animal feed as well. And to do that, I need to check what we need to optimize and what we need to generate. So currently we, we do not have any animal feed. <clears throat> and you see the wooden hammer is getting really low durability, so we need to craft some. Let's lay next to our beloved wife, Niestanka. And Gundolf is still too young. One years old. One year old. And I wonder if we need to wait until he's like... 12 year old? 12 years old? I don't know. 
we will see how this game proceeds. And I would like to find somewhere that we can... Yeah, I think here we can collect sticks a lot faster. We have 24 sticks. You see 31. We do not need to run around like crazy person and collect every single stick on the floor but instead just stand still and <laughs> lag through the sticks. I don't know what's going on with the game today. I think after the patch maybe they change some things. Okay, 75 sticks should be more than enough to complete the goose house as well. And I will check if we if we have the necessary technology. Okay, the wooden hammer is going to get broken. Yes, now <laughs> since I was saying wood saying woodshed number two, and we had enough technology to build it now. And after I complete this house, I will go create the woodshed number two and more people will collect logs, sticks and stones for us. Perfect. I think it's in extraction, yeah, woodsheds. Let's put it close to the current woodshed number one. Uh, maybe the snow is creating this, all the lag. Yeah, I can put the woodshed here. Again, some stones are necessary. And maybe sticks as well, so let's get a few of them. Yeah, those should be enough. Oh, we will run out of logs this time. Or not. We will run out of planks. Or not. Ah, we didn't. Okay, uh, we are stuck. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. We now have another woodshed where we can optimize more people. Oh, we have... Oh, no. So building technology, we unlock this one. The next is mine. We have builder's hut, resource storage number three. Oh, wait. Uh, what we can... Unlock wooden stall... Wooden table, bench, shutters, double shelf, palisade. Yeah, I was looking for this one actually. Let's buy this scheme. Yeah, all right. So I was looking for this one because let me show you what I want to do. I think it was in not in houses. Oh, wait, where was it? In the fences, yeah. So I would like to put... Something that represents... Where our village starts... And where it ends, so... I think I can safely... There are obstacles, yeah. Okay, let me try to get as close as to this road. I think I can get... Uh, no, we can't. Okay. I think this is the... This is the best we can get. Okay. 
And on this side, not log pences. Come on. Palisades. We paid money for this. Okay, it's coming this way. So let's continue. Right behind our house. Yeah, we will require a ton of logs to continue building this. But since we had the building shed number two now, I think it will be a piece of cake in a couple of days. We can collect the, the logs that are necessary to build. Uh, what are the obstacles currently? I don't see any. Oh, there is like a in line that we should be building. <clears throat> All right, I will take the take this place inside. Maybe yeah, the clay deposits should stay inside, in my opinion. Uh, there are more clay deposits on this side, but anyhow, we can always put some. Uh, what they are called, the gates. So, I think we can continue like that. And we can continue like this until we hit the road, which is right here. All right, perfect, perfect. Yeah, maybe not in two days because I took a huge, huge path. And now from here, yes, it is completed now. So let me show you how we can build it. Oh, we don't have any logs currently. So it will look like this in the end, uh, so that our village will be more bounded. And maybe in the future we can increase the size of it. So currently we are running out of spaces. But then we can always rebuild them or extend them further on. And they are not required, but I think it's a nice addition. Six logs only. Mojmir, what the hell are you doing, man? What the hell are you doing? Oh, shit. Wait, um, I put... Not palisade on this side, so I would like to double check that if everything is correct. Yeah, palisade. I don't know how it's pronounced, by the way. Palisade? Palisade? Okay, I will check it out later on. I think, yeah, all of them looks correct. Yeah, except the one that I put the second time and you see these walls are missing so I will just cut them actually let's do this while we are here because I always forget destroy boom what the hell is this a gravel road no I don't wanna destroy the gravel road we already have hunting lodge number two so uh, this is a drying rack okay I need to go outside. Perfect. Okay, this is the first time that we destroy the house. <laughs> and now I need to change these walls as well. Just the one, one side of it. And the game is still... Oh my god, we need to destroy them like that. Okay. Game is still lagging a bit, so I don't know if the game is sick as well. Or my computer is getting sick together with me. But let's build the correct ones. Palisade. Palisade. I have no clue. I'm not a native English speaker, so... I have some problems with pronunciation. And since we are rebuilding them I'm just building it a bit farther on this side so maybe even I can destroy these couple of them until we can 
connected with the other side like that so it comes somewhere around here and it goes until this okay my throat is scratching so much at the moment that I'm barely keeping myself from coughing a lot thank you very much for joining me in today's sick adventure if you'd like to see more of it just click on the video on your screen right now and I'll meet you there. Have a great day.